Hello my beautiful MK Love fam. Welcome back to another episode. If you're brand new around here, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I'm an international childhood trauma healer, helping you to break that cycle of abuse in your own family and in your romantic relationships so that you can manifest the partner of your dreams. So I hope you're enjoying this chakra series so far. This is episode six as a part of our seven part series. So if you have missed the other chakras that are underneath this one, the root, the sacral, the solar, the heart, and the throat, go back and check them out. There's no way that you can unblock this one, or actually this one, <laughs> until you have healed the rest of them. So I work exclusively with my beautiful coaching clients, helping them to heal each of their chakras over an eight week period. The transformations are incredible. So if you wanna find out more about them, I'll link them on the end card or down below. So in terms of the third eye chakra, now it's an energy center within the body that's located between the eyebrows and it is your source of intuition, that inner guidance. Now it identifies with your higher self, the element of light, and its biggest challenge comes with making peace with illusions. So this is quite an interesting one. Check out on the screen right now and I'll put the table so you can figure out where you are. Okay, so if you have a third eye chakra blockage and you're deficient, this means that you lack clarity, you have vision problems, you're unimaginative, you're insensitive, you could reject your spiritual gifts. On the opposing spectrum, if we look at excessive, you could lack concentration, have paranoia, hallucinations, nightmares, or could be frightened with your spiritual gifts or spirits. Now, if you're balanced, you will be intuitive, have an accurate interpretation, vivid imagination, you could be clairvoyant, and you could have, well, you could remember your dreams. So this was an interesting one, and it took me a really long time to figure out how to unblock my third eye chakra. I first started learning to unblock my lower chakras. In particular, I noticed when I unblocked my solar plexus chakra, which was the chakra to do with the personal power. I've got a whole video about that to help you. And I started, which is the personal power, which is located around your stomach area. And I started fueling my body with whole ripe fruits and vegetables. I found when I was eating a plant-based diet, eating foods in from mother nature, literally, they're pre-packaged from mother nature. Look at a banana, it's pre-packaged, just pull the skin back, boom, done. That's whole ripe fruits and vegetables. And I started incorporating that. It took me a while, it took me a year to transition from a meat diet to pescatarian where I was just eating fish and then I eventually went raw for six months to heal my body, which is intense, but it worked. And that's when things started shifting. Probably about a year or two after I became vegan and started eating really well for myself. Um, and then also when I learned to forgive my ex and my dad and my sister and anyone else who caused me pain, um, started speaking up for myself, I then got to the stage. It's quite a big journey to get through. You don't just wake up and just be like, ah, third eye is open. It takes some time. Um, and I truly started trusting my intuition I used tarot to help me as a way to trust. Um, but then also like having an idea in my head, like I had an idea two years into my four year abusive relationship with that narcissist, which is over 11 years ago now. Feels weird to keep talking about it, but like it's part of my story. Um, and two years into that, I was, my intuition told me I needed to go to the UK um, to teach primary school kids over there in London. And I didn't do it. And I did it once I got out of that two years later. It took me two years to freaking listen to it. And then once I got to England, everything lined up. The house lined up. I had a family of like five beautiful Canadians who were all primary school or primary and high school teachers. We joined together and we just became like this, this network, this strong bond. Um, and I met some really beautiful people. I got to travel to anywhere in Europe within six, every six weeks I would travel. Um, which I love that about the UK system, like half term is, is six weeks, like that's crazy. They don't do that in Australia. And yeah, I, um, where was I going with the story? I'm not really sure. Traveling, 
Oh yeah, the guidance to move. Yeah, and so everything kind of just lined up for me. It took me a while. I kind of had all of these like synchronicities where like my intuition showed me, well, they're not, you get a lot of synchronicities when you start unblocking this. Well, wait till you get to the crown chakra and shit just gets even more amazing. I started seeing spirits. I started seeing 32, 32, 32, 32. And I went to um, a sidekick and I was like, what the friggin' hell does this mean? I'm getting scared now. It's like going off like a frog in a sock. And she's like, Dallin, this is great. 32, join the three and two together. Three and two is five. Five is massive transformation. She's like, you're on the brink of the most beautiful transformation ever. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then my name numbers went to angel numbers, like one, one, one. Every time I looked at the clock, it was one, one, one. Um, and I would hear songs. It just kind of ramped up. And then I started really tuning in when I was testing myself. Not with tarot. I started with Oracle because I think it's easier. And there's only like 44 cards in the deck, whereas this is like 78. So I started doing that and started reading on my channel. You, you can see the videos. I've been reading tarot on my channel for like three years now. Or four if you kind of see the little ones that just come in every now and then when I was like testing the waters. And I started like trusting myself. It was, it was a massive trust with myself. And then I started seeing spirits and I helped a guy cross over who was like scaring me. And, and I'm like, okay, because I never, I never walked into my room before and just see a spirit just sitting on my bed. I was like, what is going on? And I was scared and it took me a long time to embrace what is now I see as my superpowers, you know? And it allows me to read tarot for people and give them guidance. Like today, one of my beautiful MK Love fam from Las Vegas said to me, she's like, Mal, you know that annual reading you did for me in January? I was like, yeah. She's like, guess what happened? You said that my husband had to make a decision and that's totally happened. There was a big decision he had to make and this happened and this happened. And it's so interesting to hear feedback from people when I read. But it's, it's, it's just massive, it's just trusting yourself. It really comes down to infinite trust in yourself. And it takes a lot of time to develop, absolutely a lot of time to develop. In my coaching program, because everything is accelerated, I teach it in a week. Um, but my coaching program is intensive. It's, it's an eight week intensive one-on-one -on -one, um, training that I work with my clients with. I help them to break the cycle of abuse with their family, which is always linked to why they're not trusting their intuition now as we go through each of the chakras. There's so much involved in it, but if you wanna know more, two ways I can help you. Number one, you can join my women's moon circle. Every full moon, when you go outside and you see the mama moon is flipping huge, that's when it's the perfect time to release your pain. You can release it anytime. I like to do it then um, because it's most supercharged and I don't know, it just makes me feel good. It makes me feel normal and it gives me something to look forward to. Like whenever I see Mama Moon outside, I was like, oh, she's so beautiful. And the Mama Moon is like the feminine aspect within yourself. It's just healing those emotions. And sometimes there's so much to heal and other times there's only a little bit. So you just have to go with what works truly best for you. But yeah, I can help you heal and sync with Mama Moon. That's a monthly thing. Um, or if you're at the stage where you wanna truly ramp up your healing and you're at the stage where you're willing and you're committed to doing whatever it takes, I can work one-on-one -on -one with you and you can apply to be a part of the program. Just keep in mind, I work with four clients a month, so I choose the people that are truly invested to, to work, and I know that I can get results for. So if you wanna find out more, all those links will be down below. I just wanna pop in and just let you know what you can expect with this. I would love to hear from you. Are you deficient, excessive, or balanced with your third eye chakra? And if you have any stories, please write them, like write me novels if you can. I would love to, I'd love to read them. I find it so interesting to see where you're at because maybe I could, maybe you'll help me in some way or maybe I can help you further. Whatever it is, we're all in this together and I'm just so grateful that you're here. And the fact that you're watching this video, maybe you've already started unblocking it. Maybe you are talking to spirits. Maybe you are going through tarot and just reading and like pulling a card and be like, whoa, Oh, I forgot to read for you. <laughs> Let me pull a card. Let's see what you need to know for your third eye chakra. Let's see. Oh, there it is. 
So we've got two cards. Let's pull the first one and see if we need the second. Ooh, the Knight of Swords. Interesting. The Knight of Swords is somebody. And then I heard somebody stop me. <laughs> this, the Knight of Swords is someone who has been through a lot. He's been through a lot, but he's getting to the end of his journey. Well, he's the king. That's the end of the journey. He's someone who's very wise. He's very grounded, but he's got his sword with him. And he's like, don't fuck with me. You know, it's like, and he also trusts. He's got a dragonfly behind him, which signifies massive transformation. And he's in the mountains, so grounded. He's just somebody who is just free. He's somebody who's free. He... When he has an idea, he follows through with it. Like if you follow me on Instagram, you'd see when I had an idea for the moon circle, well, I didn't have it. My angels told me and it, when I was journaling and then the next day I told you about it, and you're like, yes, yes, yes. I was like, oh shit, now I have to create it. And I did. The same thing happened with the chakra series. I was journaling in the morning. My angels said, create a seven part video series telling your, your MK love fam what are the chakras and why it's so important to help them heal. Um, what else do you have? Oh, the queen of pentacles. Ooh, 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 she's stunning. She's on my vision board. She's just beautiful. Queen of pentacles. She's the mama bear who's super grounded and makes great decisions around abundance in every aspect of her life, whether that's um, financially, but she's somebody who's very giving, very caring. You've got the king and the queen, one of swords and one of pentacles. So it's the balance of masculine and feminine. You've been through a lot, but you're also very grounded. I think you're doing really well, honestly. Not many people would click on this video because most of their chakras are like the root, the sacral, and the solar. Some people get to the heart. But not many people click on this video, so I'm assuming that the views for this one will probably be lower than the rest of them. But that's okay because the fact that you're watching it, then this video is, is just for you, you know? Like that's why I make these videos. So let me just summarize it. You've been through a lot. You've been through so much contrast, but you're now looking through what has happened through a place of love. You're now a very giving, nurturing person because you've been so hurt in the past and you wanna help guide other people. And you also have the clarity to know what's truly best for you and you act upon it. If you see red flags in a relationship, you're like, thank you, next. And you just like, just get out of there, you know? Or you have the awareness on how to deal with them. Oh, there's so much involved with this, but I'm just saying you're in a really good place. Honestly, you're at a fabulous place. Anyways, I'm gonna stop it right there. Have an amazing day wherever you're around the world. And I'll see you next episode for the last video of this series talking about the crown chakra. All right. I love you. I love you. I love you. Goodbye.